Welcome to tutorial 15 in the practical RF design tutorial series. I am Dr. Pragash Sangaran from InnoWave. In this tutorial series, we will learn the complete design and optimization guide for 4G and 5G antenna. This antenna is implemented on a rigid printed circuit board or PCB. Table 4.1 shows the antenna design steps. We will start our presentation by giving introduction to the antenna. The first step of designing an antenna is antenna selection. The next step is to design the selected antenna. The third step is to optimize the antenna followed by antenna EM simulation. Finally, the results of the antenna will be analyzed. In part 15 of the practical RF design tutorial, the antenna introduction, antenna selection, Antenna design section will be covered. In part 16, antenna optimization part 1 will be covered. In part 17, antenna optimization part 2 will be covered. In part 18, EM simulation and results and analysis will be covered. Let's move on to the first topic of the day, which is antenna introduction. Figure 4.1 shows the basic radio architecture. The basic RF radio system contains a baseband processor up conversion mixer, down conversion mixer, voltage control oscillator or VCO, local oscillator or LO, frequency generating unit or FGU, pre-driver, driver, final power amplifier, coupler, power controller, antenna switch, harmonic filter, antenna, pre-selector filter, low noise amplifier or LNA and post-selector filter. Each radio component plays a unique and significant part in achieving the end goal of receiving and transmitting information wirelessly over a long distance. In figure 4.1, the antenna is the first component from the left of the radio system. The antenna is used to transmit and receive signals. The signal received by the antenna will be routed to the receiver section by the antenna switch. In the same way, the signal to be transmitted will be routed to the antenna via an antenna switch. Webster's dictionary defines an antenna as a metallic device, either a rod or wire for radiating or receiving radio waves. The IEEE standard definition terms for antenna defines the antenna or aerial as a means of radiating or receiving radio waves. The antenna is transitional structure between free space and guiding device. What does an antenna do? The antenna acts as a transducer that converts electromagnetic waves to electrical energy and vice versa. The process is bidirectional. If an alternating current is applied, the antenna will produce an electromagnetic field surrounding the structure. When these electromagnetic waves hit the receiving antenna, the antenna will induce the current on the antenna surface which will then be converted to the message by the receiving radio. Antenna types There are six types of antennas. These are wire antennas, aperture antennas, microstrip antennas, array antennas, reflector antennas and lens antennas. There are various shapes of wire antennas such as a straight wire, loop and helix which are shown in figure 4.2. Loop antennas need not only to be circular. They may take the form of a rectangular, square, ellipse or any other configuration. The circular loop is the most common because of its simplicity in construction. Aperture antenna Figure 4.3 shows aperture antenna configurations. Antenna of this type are very useful for aircraft and spacecraft application because they are very conveniently flush mounted on the skin of the aircraft or spacecraft. In addition, they can be covered with a dielectric material to protect them from hazardous condition of the environment. Microstrip antenna These antennas consist of a metallic patch on a grounded substrate. The metallic patch can take many different configurations as shown in figure 4.4. However, 
The rectangular and circular patches shown in figure 4.4 are the most popular because of their ease of analysis, fabrication and their attractive radiation characteristics, especially low cross polarization radiation. The microstrip antennas are low profile, comfortable to planar and non-planar surfaces, simple and inexpensive to fabricate using modern printed circuit technology, mechanically robust when mounted on rigid surfaces, compatible with MMIC designs and very versatile in terms of resonant frequency, polarization, pattern and impedance. These antennas can be mounted on the surface of high-performance aircraft, spacecraft, satellites, missiles, cars and even handheld mobile telephones or mobile phones. The next is array antenna. The arrangement of the array may be such that the radiation from the element adds up to give maximum radiation in a particular direction or directions, minimum in others or otherwise desired. Typical example of arrays are shown in figure 4.5. Usually, the term array is reserved for arrangement in which the individual radiators are separate as shown in figure 4.5 A to C. However, the same term is also used to describe an assembly of radiators mounted on a continuous structure as shown in figure 4.5 D. Reflector Antenna a very common antenna form for such an application is parabolic reflector shown in figure 4.6a and b. Antennas of this type have been built with diameters as large as 305 meters. Such a large dimensions are needed to achieve very high gain required to transmit or receive signals after millions of miles of travel. Another form of reflector Although not as common as parabolic, is corner reflector as shown in figure 4.6c. Lens Antenna Lenses are primarily used to collimate incident divergence energy to prevent it from spreading in undesired directions. By properly shaping the geometrical configuration and choosing the appropriate material for the lenses, they can transform various forms of divergent energy into plane waves. They can be used in most of the applications such as parabolic reflectors, especially at higher frequencies. Their dimensions and weight become exceedingly large at low frequencies. Lens antennas are classified according to the material from which they are constructed or according to their geometrical shape. Some forms are shown in figure 4.7. In this section, the definition of antenna parameters will be given. The first parameter is return loss. Return loss is the measure of how well the impedance of an antenna matches the impedance of the transmission line or source to which it is connected. Gain. The gain is the amount of power radiated in a specific direction relative to the power source that radiates equally in all directions. Directivity Directivity is a key parameter that describes how well an antenna focuses its radiated power in a particular direction. Directivity is a ratio of radiated intensity in a given direction for an antenna to radiated intensity averaged over all directions. It measures how directional an antenna's radiation pattern is compared to an isotropic radiator. Radiation Pattern An antenna radiation pattern is graphical representation of a radiation properties of an antenna in its radiating far field region. Cross Polarization Level Cross polarization level in antenna theory refers to the undesired polarization component that is orthogonal to the intended polarization of an antenna. The cross polarization level is a measure of how much energy an antenna radiates or receives in polarization orthogonal to its intended polarization. It is typically expressed as a ratio of power in the undesired polarization to the power in the desired polarization. Axial Ratio Axial Ratio is a parameter used to describe the polarization of an antenna, particularly in secularly polarized antennas. It is defined as a ratio of major axis to the minor axis of the polarization ellipse. 
radiation efficiency radiation efficiency is the ratio of power radiated by an antenna to the power input to the antenna it represents how efficiently the antenna converts input power into radiated electromagnetic waves total efficiency total efficiency is overall efficiency that takes into account both radiated efficiency and the impedance matching efficiency of the antenna beam width beam width is a measure of directional properties of an antenna's radiation pattern beam width is a angular separation between two points in an antenna's radiation pattern where the power drops to half or minus 3 db of its maximum value of the main lobe side lobe ratio side lobe ratio also known as side lobe level is a measure of the relative strength of the antenna's side lobes compared to its main lobe The side lobe ratio is a ratio of the power density in the antenna's strongest side lobe to the power density at the peak of the main lobe usually expressed in db. On the right antenna system parameters are given. Effective radiated power or ERP. ERP is a calculated measurement that describes peak transmitted power output of the system. SAR SAR is an acronym for specific absorption rate. It is the merit of performance for which governmental agencies has specified safety limit on the human exposure to RF radiation. Antenna implementation techniques. Table 4.2 shows antenna implementation techniques, PCB implementation and chip implementation. The advantages of PCB implementation are cost saving and simplifying manufacturing and assembly process. The disadvantage is that the PCB antennas are susceptible to interference from nearby components and are generally large. The tiny chip antennas allows easy integration into compact devices and surface mount technology compatibility for PCBs. However, The performance of chip antenna is also affected by nearby objects and ground planes as well as limited bandwidth and radiation pattern options. Let's move on to the first step of antenna design which is antenna selection. What antenna are we designing? There are many antennas to choose from as shown in the table here. Those are dipole antenna, loop antenna, helical antenna, Yagi Uda antenna, spiral antenna, corner reflector antenna, parabolic reflector antenna, patch antenna, pifa antenna, bow tie antenna, lock periodic antenna, slot antenna, cavity backed slot antenna, monopole antenna, inverted F antenna, slotted waveguide antenna, horn antenna, Vivaldi antenna, telescope antenna, fractal antenna and NFC antenna. The question is how do you select an antenna for your application To choose an antenna for your application you need to ask these questions What is the size of the product What is the radiation pattern requirement Is it directional or omnidirectional Is there any polarization requirement For example circular linear or elliptical polarization Is it implemented on a PCB or ceramic chip? For our application, we selected inverted F antenna. Since the antenna is to be implemented on a PCB, it's called planar inverted F antenna or PIFA. Let's move on to our second step, which is antenna design. PIFA antenna design will be demonstrated in this section. The planar inverted F antenna is a famous antenna that is widely used for telephone handsets. Figure 3.1 shows inverted L antenna and figure 3.2 shows inverted F antenna respectively. Inverted L antenna has a horizontal element with quarter wavelength. The vertical element is a fraction of wavelength. Inverted L antenna has low impedance. In order to increase the impedance of inverted L antenna another inverted L element was incorporated which makes it an inverted F antenna By including second inverted L element 
the input impedance of the antenna can be set to match the load impedance of the antenna. The drawback of the inverted F antenna is the lack of bandwidth. With this, our tutorial 15 comes to an end. To continue to learn the 4G and 5G antenna design method, please watch tutorial 16, 17 and 18. See you in tutorial 16. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I will see you in my next video with another interesting problem. For inquiries, please email pragash at innovave.co or visit www.innovave.co.